Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading uh, for Taurus. Um, what do they want from you for uh, January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? So uh, we're going to take a look at the person that's recently coming back into your life. And we're going to take a look at uh, what this person wants from you and um, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life. So you can apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that this is just a general read. So just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements uh, before we get started. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, Taurus, let's get started. Over energies. Oh no, that's not the right reading. Uh, tell me about the uh, tell me about the person that's recently coming back into Taurus's life. What does this person want from Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January twenty twenty two. Well, it seems as though. What I'm getting here is that this person perhaps has been trying to get the courage to come forward to reunite with you. The thing right now, I feel like this is only a fantasy. Uh, this, this person is dreaming about this, daydreaming, uh, daydreaming about this, you know, just spacing out about this, whatever that may be. Uh, this person is not really gaining the courage to come forward. I feel like this person, if anything, is escaping and trying to run from it or try, just, well, like, like I said, instead of taking action, this is the energy of just, um, you know, daydreaming, dreaming, spacing out. We have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. Seems like this person might be a bit of, uh, might be avoiding what they've done here which I feel like this person hurt this connection, hurt you, sabotaged it, um, betrayed you. Uh, we have the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. So I feel like this you do have a strong soul tie with this individual. I do feel like this person wants to reunite with you, uh, um, uh, Taurus. We have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You know, I feel like we have someone here that definitely is in this energy of feeling really in deep sorrow and despair here for hurting this connection or hurting you. I feel like this person's real, feeling very lonely and I feel like this person's missing you a lot. And I feel like this person can't, probably can't stop thinking about you, maybe even dreaming about you or something like that, okay? So uh, you do definitely perhaps have a past life soul connection with this individual here. Maybe you had uh, uh, some past, uh, past lives together, um, but I just feel like this person is just not ready to come forward, even though they're thinking about you and missing you a lot. Uh, strength. Why is the strength card here? Mm, we have the King of Cups here. And then the King of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here. You know, this person's in love with you. This person is um, still passionate towards you. This person is still trying to make plans to come back towards you. Look at all these kings here. You know, unless, you know, this queen messed up by entertaining all these kings, okay? These other two kings here. Because we have a king of cups and a king of, uh, queen of cups. I mean, that's a true pair right there. Maybe there were other people involved. or Maybe there was an ex involved. You know, maybe this person was in a relationship with you, still talking to an ex, and then talking to someone else. I mean, this ex could be a king of wands. 
and someone that, you know, this Queen of Cups is kind of talking to or hanging out with is this King of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands with the Ten of Swords, okay? Why is the Two of Cups here? And the Ace of Swords, okay. Here's the thing. I feel like this queen didn't just hurt this queen, uh, king of cups. I feel like this king of queen of cups also hurt this king of wands and this king of swords. Quite a trail of destruction here. Okay, tell me about the six of cups. We have the hermit, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with the Virgo here. You might have Virgo in your chart. Okay. Three of three of cups, and then we have the six of wands. This is interesting. I feel like this Queen of Cups is in this energy of trying to figure out which three can this Queen of Cups have victory and success with here. I'm feeling like it's this King of Swords. This King of Swords is a new person. Not much damage has been done. I feel like a lot of damage has been done to this King of Wands and this King of Cups here. Okay? I would not be surprised if you know, the, all these kings convened or gathered together to talk about this Queen of Cups. Uh, yeah. As I was saying that, look at that, the Page of Swords. I feel like they, they might be t texting together just to get uh, information on this uh, Queen of Cups, comparing stories here. So, let's see. Because I'm feeling like this King of Wands withdrew. This King of Swords is... Uh, that this King of Cups is probably, you know, gone too. Um, so, let's see. What will happen if Taurus allowed this person back into their life? So, I mean, you're either one of these kings here. You can place yourself where you see fit, uh, Taurus. What will happen if Taurus allowed this person back into their life? There will be a fight, okay? There will be a fight. They're not jumping anymore. I'll pull the rest. Five of Wands. Okay, let's see. Five of Wands and then the Queen of Wands. Okay, so we have the King to the Queen of Cups, King to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, we have some pairs here. But I do feel like there are still other people involved, okay? Like I said, you know, this queen could have met someone new, could have been involved with an ex, and was dealing with you at the same time. Page of Swords with the Hierophant here. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. You know, I feel like this person is going to tell you that they want some sort of commitment here with you. Oh, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. You know, I feel like someone here is, you know, I feel like what, you know, I feel like you're going to reject this person's offer. Reject this person's apology here. Yeah, because what this person wants is a commitment now with you, okay? This person's finally choosing you over the ex or over the uh, third party. Seems like there are multiple parties here. Yeah. Look at that. Page of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. All right, let's see. This is a bit of a fiasco. Um, you know, I do feel like this situation has left a mark on your relationship. I feel like it's never going to be the same again. And I feel like I'm feeling like it's a, a some I feel like you're in this energy of it's better off that I just start all over again. Um, Taurus. This is a bit of a this is a bit of a disaster, I feel. We have the Ace of Cups. I mean, I feel like this queen is dealing with a bunch of other people. And, and I feel like all these kings are going to fight over for this queen's love. 
And I just feel like, Taurus, you might be taking yourself out of the equation. <sighs> Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. I mean, there's just too many options here. I do feel like this queen wants you, but there are all these other people involved. Uh, it would be a little hard. It would be a little distracting just to be able to fix things with this person, Taurus. And I feel like you're kind of really smart about it. Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the higher thing. Five of Cups in the reverse here. Okay. Yeah, I just feel like you're really over this, okay? I just feel like you're getting over the disappointment. You know, I feel like, you know, you might be in this energy of, you know, I'm just going to be dis disappointed over and over and over and over again. I feel like this person has really let you down. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you just don't want to experience pain anymore by this person. Four of Cups. Or that you're getting over this pain. With the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I just feel like you're not going to take this offer. Yeah, I just feel like you're not going to take this offer here. Yeah, I feel like you're just looking for more mature love, not love that's out of like a telenovela. Okay, so Taurus, I hope this resonated. I hope this was helpful. Leave, uh, if it was, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.